everyone. Hopefully you spent some time in class and talking with your teachers about developing the formula to find the sum of a finite arithmetic series. So in this video, we're just going to take a look at how to use that formula. You know that the sum equals n over 2 times starting term plus last term, or first term plus last term. Now, it's, it's a little bit tricky to use the word first term because sometimes you don't actually start at a sub 1. However, if you do look in a book, it's usually written like this, but you know that this one right here might not always be the first term. Remember that n means total number of terms that you are adding together, okay? So n is the total number of terms you're adding together. This a sub 1 represents the term that you would like to start with, and then this a sub n is the term that you are ending with. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Here we have starting with n equals 1 and stopping at 30, negative 2 plus 3 n minus 1. Now it is very clear to you that this negative 2 plus 3 times n minus 1, that's an explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence. Now it is okay for you to write it this way. However, if you look in a textbook or online, you usually don't see them that way. You usually see them in the simplified form, which we'll take a look at in our next example. So you need three things. You need the total number of terms, you need the term you're starting at, and you need the term that you're ending at. So if I'm going from term 1 to term 30, that's 30 terms. According to my explicit formula, term 1 is negative 2. Now this a sub n, that's really a sub 30 because that's the term that I'm stopping at. So if I want to figure out what that is, I just have to replace n with 30. And when I do that, I'm going to get 85. So now I'm ready to plug all of these things into my formula. n was 30, a sub 1 was negative 2, a sub n was 85. Hopefully you agree that 30 over 2 is 15 and that 85 plus negative 2 is 83. So my sum is going to be 15 times 83, which gives me 1,245. Okay, so the evaluation of this sum is 1,245. Okay, let's try one more. So here I want to start at the fourth term and stop at the twelfth term and my rule is going to be 3n minus 1. Okay, so let's think. I need total number of terms. My starting term now is a sub 4 and my ending term is a sub 12. So let's see, how many terms are there between the fourth term and the twelfth term? a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's going to be 9. a sub 4, let's see, that's going to be 3 times 4 minus 1. That gives me 11. This one's going to be 3 times 12 minus 1, which gives me 35. So now I'm ready to plug into my formula. So n in this case is 9, so I get 9 over 2 times 11 plus 35, and that is going to give me 207. So the sum here is 207. Pause the video and wait here for the answer. It's 51. Did you get it right? Good job.